The Emergency Economic Stabilization Act created the Troubled Asset Relief Program to administer up to $700 billion. Several oversight mechanisms are established by the bill, including the Congressional Oversight Panel, the Special Inspector General for TARP SIGTARP, the Financial Stability Oversight Board, and additional requirements for the Government Accountability Office and the Congressional Budget Office CBO. Financial Stability Oversight Board FSOB. The Financial Stability Oversight Board was created to review and make recommendations regarding the Treasury's actions. Its purpose is to review the operation of TARP, to make recommendations to the Treasury for improvements, and to watch for fraud and misrepresentation. The FSOB also has the power to ensure that the Treasury follows policies in accordance with the Act and the economic interest of the U.S. It is to meet on a monthly basis and report to Congress and the Oversight Panel quarterly. The members of the Board are Chairman of the Board of the Federal Reserve, currently Jerome Powell, Secretary of the Treasury, currently Stephen Mnuchin. Director of the Federal Housing Finance Agency currently Melvin L. Watt, Director Chairman of the Securities and Exchange Commission currently J. Clayton Secretary of the Department of Housing and Urban Development currently Ben Carson Topic. Congressional Oversight Panel, COP The Congressional Oversight Panel was mandated by Title I, Section 125 of the TARP legislation as an establishment in the legislative branch. The Congressional Oversight Panel was charged with the job of reviewing the state of the markets, current regulatory system, and the Treasury Department's management of the Troubled Asset Relief Program. The panel was required to report their findings to Congress every 30 days, counting from the first asset purchase made under the program. The panel was also required to submit a special report to Congress about regulatory reform on or before January 20, 2009. The Congressional Oversight Panel was initially scheduled to cease to exist on December 31, 2009, though it was later renewed through early 2011. The panel consisted of five outside experts appointed as follows. One member chosen by the Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi selected Richard H. Neiman on November 14, 2008. One member chosen by the minority leader of the House John Boehner appointed Jeb Hensarling on November 19, 2008. One member chosen by the majority leader of the Senate Harry Reid appointed Elizabeth Warren on November 14, 2008. One member chosen by the minority leader of the Senate Mitch McConnell appointed John E. Sununu on December 17, 2008 after his original choice Judd Gregg had "...stepped aside," December 1. One member chosen by the Speaker of the House and the Majority Leader of the Senate, following consultation with the Minority Leaders of Congress Damon Silvers was appointed on November 14. The first meeting of this board was held Wednesday, November 25, 2009, and elected Elizabeth Warren as the chairperson and Damon Silvers as deputy chairperson. As no assets had yet been purchased, OFS instead chose to provide $250 billion to banks through the Capital Purchase Program it is not clear whether the requirement to report after 30 days from first asset purchase has been violated.
On December 8, 2009, the government's financial bailout program concluded in a year-end review that, despite flaws and lingering problems, the program can be credited with stopping an economic panic. Also on this date, Rep. Jeb Hensarling stepped down from the panel, submitting his letter of resignation. Hensarling was replaced by Mark McQuatters, a Dallas lawyer and certified public accountant who has served as an advisor to Hensarling. On October 1, 2010, Senator Ted Kaufman of Delaware was appointed by Majority Leader Reid to replace Warren on the panel, as Warren resigned to focus on her duties at the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. Three days later, Kaufman was unanimously elected as the panel's second chairperson. Kaufman was succeeded in Congress by Senator Chris Coons on November 15, 2010, but he remained chairperson of the Congressional Oversight Panel until its dissolution in 2011. Topic. Government Accountability Office GAO. The Controller General Director of the Government Accountability Office is required to monitor the performance of the program, and report findings to Congress every 60 days. The Controller General is also required to audit the program annually. The bill grants the Controller General access to all information, records, reports, data, etc. belonging to or in use by the program. On December 2, 2008, GAO released their first report on the bailout. Neil Kashkari, the OFS chairman, said in a letter to GAO that the department agrees with the report's findings and most of its recommendations but questioned GAO's suggestion to require more reporting from banks, saying gathering specifics from individual banks might not be the best way to evaluate the program. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi called the report's findings discouraging and stated that the report shows the program is not accountable to American taxpayers. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Special Inspector General for TARP, SIGTARP. The EESA created the Office of the Special Inspector General for the Troubled Asset Relief Program SIGTARP, and the Special Inspector General is appointed by the President and confirmed by the U.S. Senate. The Special Inspector General's purpose is to monitor, audit, and investigate TARP-related activities, including those of the Treasury in the administration of the program, and report findings to Congress every quarter. Christy Romero was sworn in as the current Special Inspector General on April 9, 2012, having been nominated by the President on February 1, 2012, and confirmed by the U.S. Senate on March 29, 2012. Eric Thorson is the Inspector General of the U.S. Department of the Treasury and was originally responsible for the oversight of the TARP but expressed concerns about the difficulty of properly overseeing the complex program in addition to his regular responsibilities. Thorson called oversight of TARP a mess, and later clarified this to say, the word mess was a description of the difficulty my office would have in providing the proper level of oversight of the TARP while handling its growing workload, including conducting audits of certain failed banks and thrifts at the same time that efforts are underway to nominate a special inspector general. 1. Former Special Inspector General Neil Borofsky was confirmed by the Senate on December 8, 2008, and was sworn into office on December 15, 2008. Borofsky stepped down from the post on March 30, 2011.
Prior to assuming the position of Special Inspector General, Borofsky was a federal prosecutor in the United States Attorney's Office for the Southern District of New York for more than eight years. Borofsky received the Attorney General's John Marshall Award for his work on the REFCO matter. Borofsky also led the investigation that resulted in the indictment of the top 50 leaders of the Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia on narcotics charges, a case described by the then Attorney General as the largest narcotics indictment filed in U.S. history. Under the leadership of Mr. Borofsky, the Office of the Special Inspector General for the Troubled Asset Relief Program has quietly turned into a full fledged financial law enforcement agency. It has 45 investigators who are empowered to carry guns and badges, and 27 vehicles with sirens and lights spread out in its branch offices across the United States. SIGTARP agents are empowered to make arrests. The agency is currently engaged in 142 ongoing criminal and civil investigations, and it has already recovered assets worth $151.8 million. By the summer of 2010, SIGTARP agents were participating in raids alongside other U.S. law enforcement agencies. They worked with FBI agents in a raid on Colonial Bank in Orlando, Florida, in an investigation into possible TARP related fraud. In January 2012, Special Inspector General Christy Romero said some $133 billion remained to be repaid by participants in the program, of which some at least is not likely ever to be repaid or recouped. That figure was offset partly by some $40.3 billion income and profits from repaid loans and investments, however new home foreclosure bailout programs that could last as late as 2017 could also cost an additional $50 billion or more. SIGTARP has been described as having a staff of 170, an annual budget of $41 million, and a substantial law enforcement record. As of late 2013, SIGTARP had pursued criminal charges against 107 senior bank officers, most of whom have been sentenced to prison. <laughs> TARP oversight reports COP reports Commercial real estate losses and the risk to financial stability, the 11th of February 10, http colon slash slash cop dot senate dot gov slash reports slash library slash report dash o two one 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 oh dash cop dot cfm slash Exiting TARP and unwinding its impact on the financial markets, January 14-10, http colon slash slash cop dot senate dot gov slash reports slash library slash report dash o one one four one o dash cop dot cfm Taking stock, what has the Troubled Asset Relief Program achieved? The 9th of December 09, http colon slash slash cop dot senate dot gov slash reports slash library slash report dash one two o nine o nine dash cop dot cfm slash Guarantees and contingent payments in TARP and related programs, the 6th of November 09, http colon slash slash cop dot senate dot gov slash reports slash library slash report dash one one oh six oh nine dash cop dot cfm slash an assessment of foreclosure mitigation efforts after six months, the 9th of October 09, http colon slash slash cop dot senate dot gov slash reports slash library slash report dash one o o nine o nine dash cop dot cfm slash 
the use of TARP funds in support and reorganization of the domestic automotive industry, 9 September 09, http colon slash slash cop dot senate dot gov slash reports slash library slash report dash oh nine oh nine oh nine dash cop dot cfm slash the continued risk of troubled assets. The 11th of August 09. Http colon slash slash cop dot senate dot gov slash reports slash library slash report dash o eight one one o nine dash cop dot cfm slash Special Report on Farm Loan Restructuring, July 21, 09, http://cop.senate.gov slash reports slash library slash report dash 072109-cop.cfm slash TARP repayments, including the repurchase of stock warrants, the 10th of July 09, http colon slash slash cop dot senate dot gov slash reports slash library slash report dash o seven one o o nine dash cop dot cfm slash Stress testing and shoring up bank capital, the 9th of June 09, http colon slash slash cop dot senate dot gov slash reports slash library slash report dash o six o nine o nine dash cop dot cfm slash Reviving lending to small businesses and families and the impact of the TALF, the 7th of May 09, http colon slash slash cop dot senate dot gov slash reports slash library slash report dash o five o seven o nine dash cop dot cfm slash Assessing Treasury Strategy, Six Months of TARP, the 7th of April 09, http colon slash slash cop dot senate dot gov slash reports slash library slash report dash o four o seven o nine dash cop dot cfm slash Foreclosure Crisis, Working Toward a Solution, 6 March 09, http colon slash slash cop dot senate dot gov slash reports slash library slash report dash o three o six o nine dash cop dot cfm slash February Oversight Report, Valuing Treasuries Acquisitions, the 6th of February 09, http colon slash slash cop dot senate dot gov slash reports slash library slash report dash o two o six o nine dash cop dot cfm slash Special Report on Regulatory Reform, January 29, 09, http colon slash slash cop dot senate dot gov slash reports slash library slash report dash o one two nine o nine dash cop dot cfm slash Accountability for the Troubled Asset Relief Program, the 9th of January 09, http colon slash slash cop dot senate dot gov slash reports slash library slash report dash o one o nine o nine dash cop dot cfm slash Questions about the $700 billion Emergency Economic Stabilization Funds, the 10th of December 08, http colon slash slash cop dot senate dot gov slash reports slash library slash report dash one two one zero zero eight dash cop dot cfm slash main cop reports website, http colon slash slash cop dot senate gov reports
Topic SIGTARP reports April 2012 Quarterly Report to Congress, April 25, 12, http sigtarpgovernor slash quarterly percent 20 reports slash April underscore 25 underscore 2012 underscore report underscore to underscore Congress. PDF Special Report, TARP and SBLF, Impact on Community Banks, April 25, 12, http colon slash slash www.sigtarp.gov slash audit percent 20 reports slash tarp underscore sblf underscore special underscore section dot pdf audit report factors affecting implementation of the hardest hit fund program the 12th of april 12 http colon slash slash www.sigtarp.gov slash audit percent 20 reports slash sigtarp underscore hhf underscore audit dot pdf january 2012 quarterly report to congress january 26 12 http colon slash slash www.sigtarp.gov slash quarterly percent 20 reports slash january underscore 26 underscore 2012 underscore report underscore to underscore congress dot pdf evaluation report the special master's determinations for executive compensation of companies receiving exceptional assistance under tarp january 24 12 http P colon slash slash www.sigtarp.gov slash audit percent 20 reports slash sigtarp underscore exacomp underscore audit dot pdf october 2011 quarterly report to congress october 27 11 http colon slash slash www.sigtarp.gov slash quarterly percent 20 reports slash october October 2011 underscore quarterly underscore report underscore to underscore Congress dot PDF audit report exiting TARP repayment by the largest financial institutions September 29th 11 HTTP colon slash slash www dot sigtarp dot gov slash audit percent 20 reports slash exiting underscore TARP underscore repayments underscore by underscore underscore the underscore largest underscore financial underscore institutions dot pdf audit report legal fees paid under the troubled asset relief program an expanded report september 28 11 http colon slash slash www dot sigtarp dot gov slash audit percent 20 reports slash g percent 2009 percent 20 ofs percent 20 contracting percent 20 final percent 2011 dash 004 percent 2009 dash 28 dash 2011 dot pdf july 2011 quarterly report to congress july 28 11 http colon slash slash www dot sigtarp dot gov slash quarterly percent 20 reports slash july 2011 under underscore quarterly underscore report underscore to underscore congress dot pdf april 2011 quarterly report to congress april 28 11 http colon slash slash www dot sigtarp dot gov slash quarterly percent 20 reports slash april 2011 underscore quarterly underscore report underscore to underscore congress dot pdf audit report Report, Treasury's process for contracting for professional services under TARP, April 14, 11, http colon slash slash www.sigtarp.gov slash audit percent 20 reports slash Treasury single quote S percent 20 process percent 20 for percent 20 contracting percent 20 for percent 20 professional percent 20 services percent 20 under percent 20 tarp percent 2004 underscore 14 underscore 11 dot pdf january
January 2011 Quarterly Report to Congress, January 2611, http wwwsigtarpgovernor slash quarterly percent 20 reports slash January 2011 underscore quarterly underscore report underscore to underscore Congress dot PDF audit report extraordinary financial assistance provided to Citigroup Inc January 13th 11 HTTP colon slash slash www.sigtarp.gov slash audit percent 20 reports slash extraordinary percent 20 financial percent 20 assistance percent 20 provided percent 20 to percent 20 Citigroup comma percent 20 Inc. PDF October 2010 quarterly report to Congress October 26 10 HTTP colon slash slash www.sigtarp.gov slash quarterly percent 20 reports slash October 2010 underscore quarterly underscore report underscore to underscore Congress dot PDF audit report selecting fund managers for the legacy securities public private investment program the 7th of October 10 HTTP colon slash slash www.sigtarp.gov slash audit percent 20 reports slash selecting percent 20 fund percent 20 managers percent 20 for percent 20 the percent 20 legacy percent 20 securities percent 20 public dash private percent 20 investment percent 20 program percent 2009 underscore 07 underscore 10 dot pdf july 2010 quarter Quarterly report to Congress, July 21, 10, http colon slash slash www.sigtarp.gov slash quarterly percent 20 reports slash July 2010 underscore quarterly underscore report underscore to underscore Congress. PDF audit report factors affecting the decisions of General Motors and Chrysler to reduce their dealership networks, July. July 19, 10, http colon slash slash www.sigtarp.gov slash audit percent 20 reports slash factors percent 20 affecting percent 20 the percent 20 decisions percent 20 of percent 20 general percent 20 motors percent 20 and percent 20 Chrysler percent 20 to percent 20 reduce percent 20 their percent 20 dealership percent 20 networks percent 207 underscore 19 underscore 2010 pdf audit report treasury's monitoring of compliance with tarp requirements by companies receiving exceptional assistance june 29th 10 http colon slash slash www.sigtarp.gov slash audit percent 20 reports slash treasury single quote s percent 20 monitoring percent 20 of percent 20 compliance percent 20 with percent 20 tarp percent 20 requirements percent 20 by percent 20 companies percent 20 receiving percent 20 exceptional percent 20 assistance percent 206 underscore 29 underscore 10 dot pdf audit report assessing treasury's process to sell warrants received from tarp recipients the 11th of may 10 h HTTP colon slash slash www.sigtarp.gov slash audit percent 20 reports slash assessing percent 20 treasury single quote s percent 20 process percent 20 to percent 20 sell percent 20 warrants percent 20 received percent 20 from percent 20 tarp percent 20 recipients underscore may underscore 11 underscore 2010 dot pdf april 2010 quarterly report to Congress, April 20, 10, http colon slash slash www.sigtarp.gov slash quarterly percent 20 reports slash April 2010 underscore quarterly underscore report underscore to underscore Congress.
PDF Audit Report, Factors Affecting Implementation of the Home Affordable Modification Program, March 2510, http wwwsigtarpgov audit 20reports underscore affecting underscore implementation underscore of underscore the underscore home underscore affordable underscore modification underscore program dot pdf january 2010 quarterly report to congress january 30th 10 http colon slash slash www.sigtarp.gov slash quarterly percent 20 reports slash january 2010 underscore quarterly underscore report underscore to underscore congress dot pdf audit report additional insight on use of troubled asset relief program funds the 10th of december 09 http colon slash slash www.sigtarp.gov slash audit percent 20 reports slash additional underscore insight underscore on underscore use underscore of underscore troubled underscore asset underscore relief underscore program underscore funds dot pdf audit report Factors affecting efforts to limit payments to AIG counterparties, November 1709, http colon slash slash www.sigtarp.gov slash audit percent 20 reports slash factors underscore affecting underscore efforts underscore to underscore limit underscore payments underscore to underscore AG underscore counterparties. PDF October 2000 2009 Quarterly Report to Congress, October 21, 2009, http slash quarterly percent 20 reports slash October 2009 underscore quarterly underscore report underscore to underscore Congress. PDF audit report Extent of Federal Agencies Oversight of AIG Compensation varied, and important challenges remain, October 14, 2009, http slash audit percent 20 reports slash extent underscore of underscore federal underscore agencies single quote underscore oversight underscore of underscore ag underscore compensation underscore varied underscore and underscore important underscore Challenges underscore remain underscore ten underscore fourteen underscore o nine dot pdf audit report emergency capital injections provided to support the viability of Bank of America, other major banks, and the U.S. financial system. The fifth of October o nine http colon slash slash www.sigtarp.gov slash audit percent twenty reports slash emergency underscore capital underscore injections underscore provided underscore to underscore support underscore the underscore viability underscore of underscore bank underscore of underscore America dot PDF audit report despite evolving rules on executive compensation SIGTARP survey provides insight on compliance August 1909 HTTP colon slash slash www.sigtarp.gov slash audit percent 20 reports slash sigtarp percent 20 survey dot pdf audit report opportunities to strengthen controls to avoid undue external influence over capital purchase program decision making the 6th of august 09 http colon slash slash www.sigtarp.gov slash audit percent 20 reports slash opportunities underscore to underscore strengthen underscore controls dot pdf 
July 2009 Quarterly Report to Congress, July 21, 2009, http quarterly percent 20 reports slash July 2009 underscore quarterly underscore report underscore to underscore Congress PDF audit report, SIGTARP survey demonstrates that banks can provide meaningful information on their use of TARP funds, July 2009, http colon slash slash www.sigtarp.gov slash audit percent 20 reports slash SIGTARP underscore survey underscore demonstrates underscore that underscore banks underscore can underscore provide underscore meaningful underscore percent 20 information underscore on underscore their underscore use underscore of underscore tarp underscore funds dot pdf april 2009 quarterly report to congress april 2109 http colon slash slash www dot sigtarp dot gov slash quarterly percent 20 reports slash april 2009 underscore quarterly underscore report underscore to underscore congress dot pdf february 2009 quarterly report to congress the 6th of february 09 http colon slash slash www dot sigtarp dot gov slash quarterly percent 20 reports slash sigtarp underscore initial underscore report underscore to underscore the underscore congress dot pdf main sigtarp reports and audits page http colon slash slash www.sigtarp.gov slash pages slash reports audits aspx topic gao reports TARP, Treasury needs to strengthen its decision-making process on the term asset-backed securities loan facility, 5 February 10 TARP, the U.S. government role as shareholder in AIG, Citigroup, Chrysler, and General Motors and preliminary views on its investment management activities, December 16, 2009 Audit, Office of Financial Stability TARP, Fiscal Year 2009 Financial Statements, 9 December 2009 TARP, Continued Stewardship Needed as Treasury Develops Strategies for Monitoring and Divesting Financial Interests in Chrysler and GM, 2 November 2009 TARP, one year later, actions are needed to address remaining transparency and accountability challenges, 8 October 2009. TARP, Treasury actions needed to make the Home Affordable Modification Program more transparent and accountable, July 23, 2009. TARP, June 2009 Status of Efforts to Address Transparency and Accountability Issues, June 17, 2009 TARP, March 2009 Status of Efforts to Address Transparency and Accountability Issues, March 31, 2009 TARP, Status of Efforts to Address Transparency and Accountability Issues, January 30, 2009 TARP, additional actions needed to better ensure integrity, accountability, and transparency, 2 December 08 Main GAO Reports website, http colon slash slash www.gao.gov slash docsearch slash featured slash financial markets and housing. HTML Topic. Treasury Department and Financial Stability Oversight Board FSOB. Financial Stability Plan, one year later, 10 February 10 TARP Exit Strategy, SEC. Geithner Letter to Congress, 9 December 09 
TARP Monthly Report, December 2009, the 11th of January 10. TARP and Office of Financial Stability Agency Financial Statement for FY2009, the 10th of December 09. TARP Warrant Disposition Report, January 20th 10. Making Home Affordable Monthly Report, December 2009, January 19-10 Small Business Financing Forum, November 18-09 FSOB Quarter Ending 31 December 2009 FSOB Quarter Ending 30 September 2009 FSOB quarter ending the 30th of June 2009 FSOB quarter ending the 31st of March 2009 FSOB quarter ending the 31st of December 2008 main tarp reports and transactions http colon slash slash www.financialstability.gov slash latest slash reports and docs html topic cbo reports The Troubled Asset Relief Program, Report on Transactions through June 17, 2009 The Troubled Asset Relief Program, Report on Transactions through December 31, 2008 Additional CBO Report Citing TARP, http colon slash slash www.cbo.gov slash search slash site search CFM criteria equals TARP. Topic: Additional resources on TARP oversight. House Financial Services Committee's TARP oversight reports page. ProPublica's Eye on the Bailout. Bailout Sleuth blog. Huffington Post's bailout page Google News search of TARP and bailouts New York Times TARP page Wall Street Journal's TARP page Topic. Claims that oversight has not been effective Topic. Government officials overseeing bailout don't know how it's being spent. A December 31, 2008, Associated Press article stated, "...government officials overseeing a $700 billion bailout have acknowledged difficulties tracking the money and assessing the program's effectiveness." A January 29, 2009 article from Bloomberg.com stated, Bloomberg News asked the Treasury Department January 26 to disclose what securities it backed over the past two months in a second round of actions to prop up Bank of America Corp., and Citigroup Inc. Department spokeswoman Stephanie Cutter said January 27 she would seek an answer. None had been provided by the close of business yesterday. Topic. Banks won't say how they are spending bailout money. A December 22, 2008 Associated Press article stated. The Associated Press contacted 21 banks that received at least $1 billion in government money and asked four questions, how much has been spent? What was it spent on? How much is being held in savings, and what's the plan for the rest? None of the banks provided specific answers. Some banks said they simply didn't know where the money was going. 
A review of investor presentations and conference calls by executives of some two dozen U.S.-based banks by The New York Times found that few banks cited lending as a priority. An overwhelming majority saw the bailout program as a no-strings-attached windfall that could be used to pay down debt, acquire other businesses or invest for the future. Federal government paid $254 billion for assets that were worth only $176 billion. On February 5, 2009, Elizabeth Warren, chairperson of the Congressional Oversight Panel, told the Senate Banking Committee that during 2008, the federal government paid $254 billion for assets that were worth only $176 billion. Topic. Bailout recipients spent $114 million on lobbying and campaign contributions in 2008. On February 4, 2009, it was reported that during 2008, the companies that received bailout money had spent $114 million on lobbying and campaign contributions. These companies received $295 billion in bailout money. Sheila Crumholz, executive director of the Center for Responsive Politics, said of this information, even in the best economic times, you won't find an investment with a greater payoff than what these companies have been getting. Topic. Bank of America throws $10 million Super Bowl party. A February 2, 2009, ABC News article titled, Bailed Out Bank of America Sponsors Super Bowl Fun Fest, stated that Bank of America sponsored a Super Bowl event at a five star resort in Palm Beach, which was described as a five-day carnival-like affair, 850,000 square feet of sports games and interactive entertainment attractions for football fans. Although the bank refused to answer ABC News questions about the cost of the event, a confidential source told ABC that the cost was approximately $10 million. Topic. Oversight efforts Topic. XBRL proposed as tool to aid in TARP oversight At the Domestic Policy Subcommittee hearing of the Oversight and Government Reform Committee on March 11, 2009, XBRL was proposed as a mechanism for automating the data entry and processing of financial filings to aid in TARP oversight. <laughs> 